Crowded cafeterias and outdated facilities, those are some of the reasons Edgerton schools are asking for a referendum worth more than $40 million. Our Rock County reporter Adam Duxter spent time in Edgerton schools and tells us why the superintendent is saying these changes need. It's lunchtime at Edgerton High School, yet many students are not in the cafeteria, rather outside of it. Kids are eating on the floors, they eat on the stairs because we don't have adequate space in our cafeteria. It's something that District Superintendent Dr. Dennis Pauley wants to change, but it's not his only frustration. Nearby, the community elementary school is also crowded and outdated, Pauley says. An overcrowded school, lack of flexible learning space, overcrowded cafeteria, and just very cramped schedules. Pauley hopes both of these issues would be solved, however, with an upcoming referendum opportunity next week. Despite most people in the voting area not having a child in the district, he says these improvements could have a larger impact. Families are looking for communities to live in. It's typical the first place they look are the schools. How, do the, how are the schools performing and the facilities themselves? And I think that is a factor in why people may choose to move to a community or may choose not to. Because Pauly says despite the best efforts of the district, these issues can't be solved without additional help from the community. We've done as much maintenance as we can, but now we're to the point where um, it's the, the needs far exceed what we're able to do in an annual budget. Now, the referendum would come with some tax implications, and Polly says the increases would be about $100 per $100,000 in property values. From our bureau at the Janesville Gazette, Adam Duxter, WISC News 3. And for a link to the full referendum, you can visit our website, channel3000.com.